you part of this is struggle. I think struggle, I think things are as hard as we mentally conceive they have to be. Whether we say it out of our mouth or not, whether we say this is supposed to be hard, so now it's hard. If a part of me authentically really believes that in order for me to have this, I have to struggle, I'm going to struggle, man. There's a, I heard, I saw this quote, dude. I'll never forget this, Jay. It said, there's a difference between pain and suffering. Pain happens, suffering is a choice. I'll never forget that, dude. As I'm out, I'll never forget that, man. It, it did something to me before I was, <laughs> All right, embarrassing moment. I was getting a tattoo. I got a few tattoos. I was getting a tattoo. One of my tattoos, right? Can't tell them because I try to keep it professional. You know what I mean? You don't got no teardrops on the face. But uh, I was I was getting a tat, man. And um, uh, I thought that it needed to hurt. I had had a couple tattoos. I was getting it in a location. I was actually getting it on my ribs a little bit. So I believed that it needed to be very, very, very painful. I suffered so bad getting that tattoo. I, I mean, I was like <laughs> uh, grinning my teeth and my legs were kind of tightened and shaking. And I mean, my face was balled up into this horrible looking whatever. And then uh, one of my friends happened to be around and he was like, yo, dude, you all right? And him saying that kind of like snapped me to my senses like, yo, it's a tat. Nobody's chopping your leg off. Like you, you, you chose to get yet another tattoo. Like deal with it. Yo, know, when he, when I had that whole moment, I kind of, I closed my eyes and I dealt with it so much differently. Like all of the wrinkles in my face, all of the clenching of my teeth, all of the shaking on my legs, and all. It still hurts. It's a needle hitting your body a few times, right? It ain't tickling. But it didn't. I didn't have to suffer, bro. I didn't have to suffer. I, I I say that to say. I believe for a long time. That I thought that I needed to financially struggle, in order for my life and my work to mean something. I thought that I needed to financially struggle, because it wasn't for me to be wealthy. Mm -hmm. um, I thought all of that was true. So you know what happened? I struggled. I financially struggled. I lost opportunities. I gained opportunities. It would go but so far and then kind of tumble back down. And about a year and a half ago, I decided differently. And I promise you, and I, and I hate to say that it's like that magical. I'm, I'm not trying to act like pine the sky. I'm not trying to say this stuff doesn't happen. What I am trying to tell you is that the same experience I had getting that tattoo is the same experience I experienced in my money. I am not a millionaire. I am not balling out the wazoo. What I am telling you is that I am living differently talking with you now, Jay, at this stage a year and a half later than I was a year and a half ago. And the only thing that really changed in my life was that I was like, I can have. I decided differently, but I meant it. It wasn't lip service. It wasn't like, oh, I'll just... I meant what I said from the essence of my being. And it seemed like the world conformed. It seemed like opportunities open in that space, man.